Something this DP said to me was surprising, I would say. What he told me was that his work is not art. And inside, man, I felt crushed. I'm Michael Lee Kayang, a Taiwan-based DP, cinematographer, and filmmaker. In this video, we're going to talk about how to become a director of photography, a DP, a DOP. There is not a king and a queen, but there is a king, a queen, and a jack. And these three roles are in no particular order. The director, the director of photography, and the producer. There's a king, a queen, and a jack, and they're all equally important. I don't like this idea of hierarchy. So they're equally important. The director is in the middle, the DP, the DOP, the director of photography is next to the director, and then the producer completes the three. You need to become friends, you need to become best friends with directors, and you need to become good friends with producers. You need skills, you need competency. A director of photography needs to have a strong sense of self, a strong identity in terms of how they want things to look and be able to communicate those things to other members of the team. A DP has high experience in various cameras, various lenses, various lighting conditions. Expose yourself to various shooting styles, work with various directors, work with different producers, and that's how a DP accumulates experience and expertise and develops and fine-tunes their style, what type of tools they need for what types of jobs. I'm going to now go kind of anecdotally and how I've developed myself as a DP. There's a part inside of me that absolutely does not want this channel to talk about filmmaking gear, but becoming a DP, there is an aspect of gear that is unavoidable. Yes, you could become a successful DP and not own any cameras. You could simply rent, but it doesn't hurt if you have the resources to put yourself in a position where you have multiple cameras. Now, I'm not saying that just because you have more cameras means you're going to be a better DP, but it's more about having that experience, having those hours, getting your reps in, in terms of using various cameras, using various lenses. How I've developed myself as a DP is I've experimented a lot. It is important for a DP to experiment with different camera systems, different lenses. Through those experiences, you will get the expertise and the competency on how to best tackle each job. I first started taking on work as a DP as a one-man band. When you're a one-man band, yes, there's always going to be pros and cons. There's only so much you can achieve as a one-man band. However, you have pretty much as much creative control as you can have to develop your sense of self as a DP. When I started out, I remember I had one full frame camera, which is not important. It could have been a Super 35 camera. And I had two prime lenses. That's how I started my DP career was just this basic setup. Fast forward almost 10 years later, I have various camera systems, various lenses, but I wouldn't have gotten to this point without trying out various cameras, various lenses, not just prime lenses, zoom lenses, renting different equipment for different jobs. Also understanding that to get the best product possible, you can't do it yourself. You need to build a team, work with lighting designers, work with gaffers, work with colorists, work with post-production crew, work with as many different people as you can, but also really try to hone in on your strengths and also be aware of your weaknesses. It's really just a matter of shooting and shooting various content until you understand the look that you want. And of course, your look is going to vary a lot, but something that has been a recurring theme in my DP journey is that I like longer focal lengths. I like Super 35 sensors over full frame sensors, and I like prime lenses. I prefer the color science and the workflow of working with Blackmagic cinema cameras. These values that you develop as a DP, they're not always going to align with your client. That's okay. But as I continue building myself as a DP, I'm going to continue working with people that respect my skills. I view filmmaking as a collaborative process and it's not something that is hierarchy. And I know that when business is involved, there's likely going to be more hierarchy where it's important to not forget that a DP yeah, in some jobs, they will call the shots and that's fine. But the way I see a DP is someone that needs to have empathy just like a director does. And the way I think of the best, my favorite directors, they have high EQ. They're able to understand people, match 
various people's energies and to communicate with them effectively. And that's not an easy job to do. A DP, a director of photography, should also strive to have those same soft skills, not just technical skills, but the skills that a director should have. And that is to be able to relate and to not just be so technical and robotic with the camera, but also be able to have empathy and to have a, a lot of emotion. That's what art is all about. And the art associated with filmmaking is having these emotions. To not just capture emotions with a camera and a lens, but to also have those emotions and awareness be outside of work. Because that's a huge part of filmmaking is the relationships. And like, how can you capture relationships and emotions with camera if you can't do those things without a camera? As a DP, fundamentally understand and try to build on your relationships and your awareness of emotions. And then when you bring a camera and, and lens into the picture, you already have a strong foundation. You're set up for the best possible outcome. Did that answer how to become a, a director of photography? A successful DP that I met from Australia last year on set. And this was a pretty big production. There was a DP and there was three other cameramen, including myself. Something this DP said to me was surprising, I would say. What he told me was that his work is not art. And inside, man, I felt crushed. This is not art, then what am I doing with my life? Like, why am I pursuing this camera work? Obviously, I think it varies a lot depending on what type of work you want to do and what type of content you're filming. I believe that a DP should understand art. And art can be broken down into many categories. It can be art involves things such as psychology, understanding how the human brain works and color contrast and things like symmetry and aesthetics and proportions and perspective. That's just barely touching the surface of art. Art is definitely a huge part of being a director of photography, whether you like it or not. Even if your work is purely for business, there's definitely a huge art aspect that cannot be overlooked. Now, having said that, it's not purely art. There is the other side, which is not as subjective as art. Strategy, knowing who your audience is, these types of things, which aren't necessarily exclusive of art. We could argue that these things are overlapping. To become a director of photography, without a doubt, you need to have a strong sense of art but you also need to have a strong technical skill set and be competent with your tools. In addition to that, you also need to have the soft skills, the having empathy, awareness of emotions, being able to communicate effectively and to be emotionally strong in times where things are high stress and things are going wrong and be able to troubleshoot and find solutions quickly. That's how you become a DP.